Once upon a time, in a quaint little town, our heroine found herself on a journey of change sparked by an unexpected event. As she strolled through the town, she encountered seven remarkable men, each with a unique story that touched her heart. Little did she know, they would become more than friends, they would become her loves. The story unfolds as she navigates life's twists and turns, finding joy in newfound friendships and romance. But just when everything seems perfect, the unexpected strikes, leaving viewers on the edge of their seats. What happens next? That's the mystery waiting to be unveiled, enticing you to watch until the very end and savor every moment of this enchanting tale. At the start, we meet A, a girl from a wealthy family, embracing the tranquility of her morning jogs and the fresh beginnings they bring. Her days are filled with helping her stepmother, Ma, in their elegant home. However, shadows of the past linger, especially after the recent loss of her father. Amidst preparations for guests, tensions simmer as her stepmother urges her to bury painful memories. A chance encounter with Bernard and Claire adds layers to her routine. Yet, as night falls, A's world is turned upside down when a jog takes an unexpected turn. Kidnapped and thrust into uncertainty, she escapes into the wilderness, only to be rescued by a mysterious stranger. Awakening in a strange bed, confusion reigns until Pierre, the enigmatic rescuer, appears, bringing comfort and breakfast. Their bond grows as they share stories and moments. Meanwhile, Vincent, a musician with a love for solitude and his faithful companion Chernobyl, adds depth to their newfound circle. As days pass, a fine solace and intrigue in her new surroundings, unaware of the secrets lurking within the mountain home. With each interaction, she uncovers layers of complexity, from Pierre's protective nature to Fran's unexpected presence. Tensions rise and passions ignite, leading to moments of conflict and intimacy. A must navigate not only her feelings, but also the mysteries that surround her. As she delves deeper, choices must be made, alliances tested, and truths revealed. In the embrace of nature and the warmth of newfound connections, A's journey of change and self-discovery unfolds. Will she find the answers she seeks, or will fate lead her down unexpected paths? The answers lie in the unfolding of this captivating story, inviting you to join A on her unforgettable adventure. In a heartwarming twist, the dog's health is restored with a doctor's advice to enhance its care, leaving Claire relieved. Sam, curious about Claire's sudden arrival and mysterious entry into the house, finds no clear answers. As they depart, a man extends an invitation to a cafe, which Claire accepts eagerly. On their way, Vince introduces Claire to his circle of friends, including Father Gilbos, a priest, and Charles, a librarian who takes an immediate liking to her. Charles offers to show her around the city, sparking a budding friendship. During their time together, Claire shares her past love for playing the violin, a passion she had to let go of after a tragic accident. Touched by her story, Charles gifts her a violin, reigniting a lost joy. Back at the house, tensions rise when Pierre discovers Claire's outing, causing a stir among the residents. However, Claire's growing connection with Pierre leads to a deeper bond, marked by shared moments of intimacy and understanding. As days pass, Claire's interactions with the residents and the outside world deepen her sense of belonging. Unexpected encounters, like meeting Gilbose's father, add layers of intrigue and trust to her journey. Amidst all this, Claire seeks independence by finding work and facing familial challenges, revealing a complex tapestry of emotions and relationships. In a surprising turn, a flashback reveals the events leading up to Claire's arrival, exposing hidden motives and tangled emotions among those close to her. Secrets unravel, alliances shift, and Claire navigates a world filled with love, betrayal, and redemption. The story culminates in a moment of clarity and self-discovery as Claire confronts her past and embraces a new beginning. Through laughter, tears, and heartfelt moments, Claire's journey reminds us of the power of resilience, friendship, and the courage to start anew. Claire's life takes an intriguing turn when Mom mistakes her voice for a wrong number and sets off on a quest to find her. Meanwhile, Claire finds herself working at a cafe, where she meets Charles, who introduces her to his son, Kimmon, a martial arts master. 
Her presence at the cafe draws attention, especially from Sam, who becomes increasingly interested in getting to know her better. He invites Claire to a club, where they enjoy dancing until an unwelcome interruption leads to a confrontation. Kimmon steps in, showcasing his skills and earning Claire's admiration. Back at Claire's place, she reflects on her evening with Sam, appreciating his vulnerability. Their connection deepens, leading to moments of intimacy and closeness. However, their privacy is interrupted by Ma's unexpected visit to town, prompting Claire to tread carefully. As Ma seeks information about Claire's whereabouts, she crosses paths with Charles, who guides her to the church where Father Gilbos offers assistance. Meanwhile, Claire navigates her evolving relationships with Sam, Kimmon, and the twins at home, finding moments of joy and connection amidst the chaos. The next morning, Claire's routine continues with a run, interrupted by an unexpected encounter with Kimmon that leaves her questioning their dynamic. Seeking advice from Father Gilbos, she learns to embrace her choices and desires, navigating the complexities of love and identity in a mountain town filled with secrets and surprises. Claire opens up to Ma, expressing her reluctance to return home after finding solace and friendship in the new town. Ma, regretful for Claire's ordeal with the kidnapper, tries to persuade her to come back. Ma offers to stay for a few days to convince Claire, but respects her decision to stay. In the next part, Ma drives Claire to work, but a tense moment near a cliff reveals Ma's hidden agenda. Claire's interactions with Charles and Clayman show her evolving relationships. She reconciles with Clayman and shares a playful moment with Charles, although their dynamic takes a surprising turn. Claire's day takes a twist when she offers a ride to a vet, rejecting a cell phone gift. Back home, tensions rise as Vincent and Sam's jealousy come into play. Maud's message about Claire's survival prompts a darker plot by Ma, leading to a dramatic encounter at a waterfall. The story escalates as Claire's popularity with men stirs jealousy and plots unfold. The evening at the bar turns chaotic, culminating in a shocking incident that lands Claire in the hospital. As she lies unconscious, her suitors gather around, hoping for her recovery. The tale ends with Claire waking up to a scene reminiscent of fairy tales, surrounded by admirers. Her journey prompts reflection on relationships, new beginnings, and the allure of starting afresh in a new city.